Hello guys, welcome back to Guitar Tips. In this video, I am going to talk about how to delete Win download files in Windows 10. So you can download, uh, you can delete this via three methods. So the first one is doing with a bit tracer file eraser. So I'll be giving a link in the description where you can buy this. So this is what it named bit tracer where you can buy this and you can install this. And once after that. We can do the next step where this one is going around 35.39 USD dollars. So this is one of the method which you can use this up to delete the Windows files actually. And apart from that, we have another two manual methods which I'm going to talk about right now. So to do this, you have to go to here in the search, and you have to type for services. You have to type for services. You have to click here and search for. Services. Now open this. Then from here you have to select Windows Update. You have to scroll down. You have to go for Windows Update. Then you have to go for Stop. You have to go for Stop. And once after that, you have to go to here and you have to go to Task Manager. You have to click on Task Manager. Then you have to maximize this. Then go for file at the top left. Now click on file option. You have to click on this. Then go for run new task. So you have to paste a thing which I'll be giving in the description. You have to paste this. C Windows software distribution download. You have to paste this. So I'll be giving the same on the description where you can copy paste this. Then once after that go for OK. So this will give you the respective unwanted files over here as you can see that now you have to what you have to do is you have to press ctrl and a all together to select this up and you can go for delete you can go for delete then this is how it's and even in some cases what happens is in some cases it won't get deleted for all the files in that situation if any file access is denied on the windows open then select and do this for all the current items which is available on your windows now once after deleting just close this then you have to restart the windows update service by right clicking it on the services as i have shown here right now you have to go for you have to restart it then this is about the first manual method and we are having one more method also so which is enable storage sense to automatically delete files in the user download folder to do this you have to search storage in the search bar now you have to click on storage then you have to click on configure storage sense or run it now just make sure self that this is enabled in most of the cases it will be disabled off so i request you have to enable this then also you have to select the suitable options on the delete file in my in my windows as you can see that there are options for example as you can see that when you have to delete this automatically for you having some of the reasons every day every week and every month and also there is one option which i have kept it for my pieces during the low free disk space and also you can set a set of period of time like delete files in my recycle bin if they have been there for more over 13 days duration you have so much days in it between so you can keep a particular day in between so the particular files will be completely deleted and also delete my files in downloads folder if they have been opened for a times for example like you know never you wanted to delete it or you can kept it for a day time of 1 14 days 13 16 days etc and also if you are having in a trouble on the low space then you can go for clean now option which will be making it a little bit faster so this is what when it comes to how to completely you can download or sorry you can delete the win download files in windows 10 and this is what about three methods so one is using an alternative app and the rest method is all about you have to do for manual methods which you can try out so that's what it's all about and if you have any kind of doubts regarding this do ask in the comment section where we will get back to you and if you have any doubts do ask and share among your friendship circles too and don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on the bell icon for more notifications and this is shahin officially signing off from get sure keep practice social distance be safe and stay safe